systems thinking is a broad church. There are many systems thinkers. There are some things that all systems thinkers agree on. A system must have a purpose. We must understand the whole. The whole is the sum of the parts. Parts are interdependent. To look at parts without understanding their relationship to the whole is risky and leads to systemic mistakes. While those are ideas all systems thinkers would subscribe to, the various systems thinkers developed their approaches to systems thinking according to the circumstances they found themselves in and the problems they were setting out to solve. The Vanguard method differs from other systems approaches because it was developed to solve one particular problem. How can we help conventional command and control managers of service organisations change the way they think about the design and management of service? Application of the Vanguard method leads to an organisation design that's based on systems principles rather than conventional command and control norms.